as a proper Igbo girl, this is one of the things I do to keep my man. Yes, food. I give him good food. Good food. You know, they said the way to a man's heart is true food. So, yeah. Anyways, come join me. Let's make this okra with the twist. So, be as they see me, they like him. If they like him, happy. We are come make we could come. So, I. So, in the last vlog that I posted, I showed you guys that I went to the market and I bought some things that I was going to use for soup, okra soup to be precise. And here is the soup. I promised I was going to show you guys. And here it is. We are going to cook this soup together. And see, this soup that I'm about to cook right now is okra with a twist. Don't go anywhere. Just chill. This is another, another type of okra soup that after seeing this video, I bet you must salivate and look for a way to go and cook this type of soup in your house anyways i already steamed my meats and i added the mix my pepper and crayfish mix i pounded it maybe they see the mortar there i did not grind it because i did not blend it because i didn't want that smooth consistency i just wanted the jaga jaga consistency <laughs> you understand so and i also added um oil so that it will just you know boil a little bit before i went in with this water and of course because it's okra soup i'm not going to add so much water because you know i'll make it the water water <laughs> anyways i have my smoked mackerel fish see if you cook okra where you know put mackerel fish I eat it for your mouth anyways i always like to use it and today i'm using smoked mackerel fish and dried catfish these two things bangs when you want to make okra even if you don't put stuff fish no wahala well you see these two things no me some no me some so i had to stay almost the pot hot the pot hot in fact see i'm already thinking of changing my cookware like i need new set of cookware because why the hand of this pot they hurt me like this eh anyways i had to taste to make sure that everything is in order and of course i know they disappoint <laughs> yeah my okra is here see i want to know am i the only one that likes to cut okra like big big like this because yes i like it big big like this i don't like to blend it i don't like to you know i don't always like to grit greater it i just like to cut it big sometimes bigger than this in fact normally i like cutting it bigger than this i want to know how do you cut your own okra do you blend how do you cut like what size do you like it like this and of course i went in with my onions immediately because i don't want to overcook this okra so i'm not going to spend much time cooking it and i want the onions to like boil out very well you know what onions does in okra soup now i mean you won't pretend say you don't know anyways of course i have to stay again see i turn shege come up for this soup i have to say this soup get mad if beg me i should say the eye of this soup can the turn i turn this soup I saw now, oh my god, but see the soup now. Ah, ah, see soup. Yes, yeah, so I added water because it was too thick. The lady actually told me that this okra will be thick. I said, don't worry. I thought she was just using mouth to say I'm a she she's right. The okra was is very thick. Uh -huh. See the ogak pata pata of the old ingredients where I use cook. When I know it to be this, if you be correct, Igbo babe or Igbo guy, comment the name of this thing. Put some in the comment section. Make I know, say you be correct, Igbo person. See, have you tried using this in your okra soup? If you have never tried it before, try it today and thank me later. This thing is a game changer when you add it in your okra soup. And of course, I had to add enough. When you add it, you can actually, you know, dice it, like cut it in smaller bits if you want. But I do, I just, I just want it like this so that, you know, ah. um, let's see the switcher. I'm not going to say the name here. I want to hear from you guys. If you be correct, you person. Oh yeah, write down the name of this thing for comment section. Make I see. So I thought they turn them. Um, see the soup now. It's, it's coming together. <sighs> now that thing I just they see. And let me ask you guys. 
what do you use which leaf do you use for your okra soup me i like to use uziza because it bangs like it always bangs i don't really like using pumpkin leaf in my okra soup unless i want to like make vegetable okra you know something like that but if i want to enjoy my okra i use uziza leaf because the scent the taste and everything the spice you know it's the best leaf for okra am i wrong if i'm wrong please tell me that sand dry you are wrong see my soup oh my god my village people they are very proud of me i'm sure and then they see this soup they go they proud so, ah this girl you sappy this soup sweet no worry bring your plate child. let me give you small bye